Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to episode what is actually 38, uh, because my published episode 38 missed uh, all of this content. So this is going to be a big episode, uh, running to about the 25-minute mark, uh, using two different play sessions of footage and sk skipping one play session uh, that didn't really have any content. Okay, so we have another max level dweller. Uh, we need to get them somewhere else, so let's move them up to endurance. And again, collecting all of our resources. But again, this is a basically a missed footage uh, because my video editing software that I now pay for uh, decided to misorder the videos for whatever reason. Okay, so we've got Megan Gaming, uh, who is the daughter of, um, oh my goodness, I forget his name now. But uh, gaming obviously being the surname. Uh, right, the guys are back from the quest, so let's collect their items. Okay, so we've got a theme recipe, fragment, and not much else. Now, we also have a lunchbox that we currently haven't used. Uh, or it might be a pet carrier, actually. Uh, we will find out later in the episode. Now, again, we've still got the festive decorations, because this is, uh, in effect, old footage. Uh, but we will carry on and get this all covered so that I will renumber episode 38 to 39 and this will be episode 38. Okay, so we are doing the usual, uh, which of course is let's open the lunchbox. So, 50 power? Yeah, that's okay. Ooh, legendary. Oh, that's a chemistry flask. I was hoping for a gun. Ooh, a waitress uniform. Agility plus four. 500 caps. Nice. Bobby Harris. Okay, so we've got a rare dweller. Okay. Oh, and there's the sound for the mysterious stranger. Are we going to be able to find him? Highly unlikely, but we can have a look for him. Are we going to see him? Are we going to see him? I tell you what, when the vault starts getting this size, finding the uh, mysterious stranger does become somewhat of a challenge. Uh, sometimes I actually notice him when I'm looking back at the footage after I've recorded it, uh, but even this time... No, nope, can't see him. Let's get the new character. So another dweller into the vault. And of course, we carry on the naming convention of those that want to be in here. So, Tignor, Chanda, you are now in the vault, Tignor. So welcome. And let's get you dragged off to a training room straight away, of course, because your special stats are not great. Okay, where do we actually have space? No, there are four people in there. And nope, there were four in there as well. Whoops. Okay. We collected all of the resources. And of course, we now have a wandering dweller. And we'll skip forwards to a feral ghoul attack. Now, over the course of this episode, I will be skipping forwards frequently. Um, because I wanted to condense uh, nearly an hour's worth of footage down into 24 minutes. So we've got a feral ghoul attack. Uh, these people... I'm no way going to make it to the door before the ghouls get in, uh, but that is fine. Uh, let's just have a quick check on the guns that we've got so we can swap that out for a hardened assault rifle. Uh, let's have a look. He's already got a hardened assault rifle. And you, sir, can have a rusty assault rifle. And there we go. We've dealt out all the high-end weaponry. So these guys should start dealing with the ghouls. Now, they do die relatively quickly, ghouls. It's just the fact that they do irradiate like crazy. So again, that's a large chunk of them dead. There's only three left, and I think these guys should finish off the rest. Uh, so let's get some radaways and some stim packs handed out uh, to our worthy defenders. Okay, and as this series progresses, what I will also do, you will see, is swap out these guys, because they're still level 1, get them into training rooms, and get some much hardier dwellers uh, put into those radio rooms. Okay, again, just checking all of our people, and let's skip forward again, because we have unlocked a room, and what is it? It's the Nuka-Cola Bottler, that's right. So we've unlocked it, but we are not going to be building it over the course of the footage. And there's the Mysterious Stranger again. Are we going to be able to find him? There he is. And I did find him, and I've skipped forwards again. Okay, so now we're on a quest. So again, this episode really covers a lot of ground. Uh, but it gets us where we're over 100 dwellers. We've unlocked the Nuka-Cola bottle. Uh, we do a couple of uh, quests. So, we're Santa's helpers. Now, come on, sing some carols with us. Okay, here we go. And blah, 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 blah. And we've got a 
elf's costume. Okay, so this is a fairly small quest, uh, and again, it's part of the festive quests. Um, so let's go and get it finished off. So into the next room we go, another group of people. We've been a very good vault this year. Okay, I'm sure you have. We'd really like some new vault suits. Ooh, and some water caps, uh, water chips. Okay, so there we go. Give him this if you see him. It's another elf costume, lovely stuff. And into the last room we go. And of course, what are we gonna ask for? We're gonna ask for guns, always guns. I'm Overseer Nicholas. Santa himself will be proud of the good cheer you're spreading. You deserve something special for yourselves. How can we repay you? We want the best weapon your vault's got. Now, of course, you couldn't use any of the options. Uh, the personal choice is yours. I always just go for weaponry. Uh, you tend to get rare. Uh, so that was a hunting rifle. Let's have a look in comparison to what we've got equipped. So it's a hardened hunting rifle, not the greatest gun, but again, a good one to give to our dwellers back in the vault. Uh, so intelligence three and luck two for the elf costumes. We are done on this quest, so return to vault. Okay, right, back in the vault we are. And those guys are now coming back from their quest. Again, it's collect all of the resources get everything done in the vault and again in a moment we will skip forwards again but uh, oh we've got a wanderer okay let's give him a weapon at least enhanced sawn off shotgun and drag him probably to a training room yeah let's put him into strength there we go oh nice nice little cap bonus we're at nearly 10,500 caps nice okay we've got another wanderer uh, high charisma, quite a few other high stats, but let's get her in a strength. Let's get these guys back from the quest for one Nuka Cola. There we go. Nuka Cola Quantum, of course. Okay, so we've collected 6 out of 18 weapons, and we have another lunchbox. So, let's get it opened. What do we get? 50 power, 100 caps, a teddy bear, Veronique Green. Oh, and a black lab, minus 7% training time. Nice. Well, the best thing to do is assign that pet to someone in the training rooms. Doesn't really matter who. Uh, we can just give them a pet. Now, ideally, you want to find someone who's quite high up uh, in their given stat. Uh, that person doesn't even have a gun. And then what we did was we allocated the pet. Now, I've skipped forwards again. We've got a fire in the radio room. That's fine. It should get put out nice and quickly. There we go, those boys are going to get some free experience points, which is actually the only way they can ever possibly level up in that room, is by getting experience from incidents. Christmas at the Raider Camp, let's get them sent off. Okay, there we go. Okay, put up to 12, 12 stim packs, 12 radaways, and get them on the quest. There we go. And that's the end of this play session, and we go on to the next. Okay, we're back in the vault again, and we're on day five. And we've got lots of stuff to collect again, so let's get everything collected. And do we have any more max level dwellers? No, I don't think we do for once. This is just clickathon, absolute clickathon. We have an insane number of dwellers currently training. Um, so yep, this process does take a wee while. Nearly there. Final room is strength. Oh, and we've got a mole rat attack. Oh, fun times. Let's see if we can actually get anyone over there in time before it spreads. I think it's unlikely, uh, but we'll see. Let's get people moved over into this room because I think... Oh no, no, it's not going to spread. Okay, cool, we managed to catch it in time. And the Mysterious Stranger was there as well. Didn't mean to move Mr. Handy there, that's fine. Let's get some more people in there, importantly. And we do have someone wandering around. Now, let's have a look at the guns. Oh my goodness, we don't have any high-end weaponry left. That's fine. Let's just get all these people in here. We've got plenty of stim packs. Let's get these mole rats dispatched with deadly accuracy. 
Okay, I think there's two or three left. Yep, there's three mole rats left. Make that two. Nearly down to one. Someone's got a laser rifle in there, so that's good. There you go. There's some free experience points for the person in the ra radiation suit. And let's collect our resources. Now, the thing is as well, once you have this number of rooms, uh, you'll notice our water purification plant at the moment doesn't have any people in it. So we do need to get some people with perception. Armoured vault suit. There we go. Already at max endurance. So they can go in there with perception 8. Now again, skipping forwards the footage. As I said, we will be doing that quite a bit. We're at another quest. So Christmas at the Raider Camp. And in we go. Okay, it looks like we're on the naughty list, so we're going to be killing these ones. Now, it might be worth focusing fire, so let's click on one of our dwellers and get them to focus fire on the boss. There we go, the boss is dead, lovely stuff. Didn't get a chance to throw one of our little mini nukes, and we've killed them all. Good, good. Okay, let's see what we've got. Harvesting the corpses for caps. That is a very meager amount of caps. That's not many more. Oh, 186. Oh, nice. Laser rifle. Wonder glue. Now, let's compare it to our currently equipped weapons. 12 to 15, you are getting a focused laser rifle. Okay, into the next room we go. And there's nothing in here. Okay, so we've got some shiny, which is a rad away. Now, let's see. Do we go up? Or do we go down? There is one floor down, so we know what the answer is. We're going to go down. Okay, and we've got another Raider boss. A second Raider boss. Right, let's get this person to switch targets. Oh, we did. Yes, we got her killed before she threw. Nice. Okay, that was a quick and furious kill. Any caps? <sighs> Not a lot. Oh, we've got a few more. Oh, and some more nightwear. Next room, anything interesting? No, not really, apart from some shiny, which is a rare recipe. Nice. Next room, some more raiders. Let's get them killed. And hope for a bounty of caps. Okay, dead, dead, dead. That's what we like to see. Now, let's harvest those corpses. Okay, shotgun, caps. Some more caps. Even more caps. But we're only at 399. That's pathetic. Okay. Come on, raiders, die and have pockets full of caps, please. Okay. Dead, dead, and dead. Time to harvest those corpses. What do we have? Let's have a look. We have a toy car. We have some caps. And we have some more caps, but pathetically small numbers. Come on, you poor, poor raiders. You clearly haven't been raiding very well. Maybe that's why you're hiding in this structure. Come on, dead, 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 please. There we go. A trio of corpses. Now, do the corpses yield anything good? No. Still no. Eh, can't even click on this one. Still no, that was that was three caps. <laughs> uh, we haven't even hit 500 caps yet. Now the question is, how many floors do we have above us? Is it just one, or is it more? It's more, it's at least three more. The cap potential is there. Okay, let's kill some raiders. Of course, some legendary weaponry would be nice as well. One dead, two dead, three dead. It's down to the corpse harvesting time. Stimpaks. Ooh, caps. Ooh, more caps. Ooh, we're nearly at 600. I'm getting excited. More raiders that want to talk to us by the looks of it. Santa's help us, huh? Well, we've been really naughty this year. Now hand over everything you've got. All we have is hold they cheer. Now let's sing some songs. You know what? Why not? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Okay, so again, let's see what there is. 
So we've got a rare recipe and another rare recipe. So we're going to have to upgrade our building rooms at some point for both outfits and weaponry so that we can start building rare weapons. And of course, eventually, legendary weapons. Now we've got some more raiders. Two dead straight away. Third one about to be toast. Toast guaranteed. Now, harvesting corpses. Ooh, 700 caps. 700 and a bit. 800 caps. Ooh, we're starting to get good numbers. Next room, what do we have? We have a magnifying glass. How unexciting. Okay, more raiders. Let's get them killed. I feel I should be using these criticals because I doubt we're going to have any strong opponents. And we might as well use them. But again, we're killing them so quickly that it's pointless. Okay, we got caps. We got some yarn. We got a cat in the way. We've got some more caps. And we got a pistol. The Overseer is going to love this. What, the caps or the pistol? Because all I care about is caps. Okay, well, well, it's Santa's helpers. Make it quick. Santa's watching you. Be nice or he won't give you presents. I should really just kill them, but hey, hey, if you were doing this, I would suggest killing because you'll get more stuff. Okay, we've got a teddy bear. And we've got another rare recipe. So that is multiple rare recipes already from this quest. Okay, up to the final floor. Anything interesting? Okay, we've got another one. I'm Boss McScrooge. But you dwellers with all your cheer have changed your my mind. So see, now this, we get to choose. So fancy new clothes, cash, or whatever else. So let's go with clothes. Done. Oh yeah, legendary Piper's outfit, a ninja outfit, and a gauze rifle. Now, if we hadn't been nice to the previous uh, guys, we wouldn't have got that legendary outfit. So sometimes being nice pays. Now let's use our criticals. Come on and kill. Five times damage. Yes. Insta-death. And caps. Some more caps. And, you guessed it, more caps. 1,175. Let's see what the final number is, though, before we celebrate. Two dead raiders. Sorry, one dead raider. Two still alive. Make that another critical. Come on, five times damage. Oh, yes. Double death instantaneous. Now it's corpse harvesting time. Oh, are we going to breach the 1,500? Oh, another rare weapon. 1,294, and we are on the final room. Double death. Okay. Three corpses. Now, what are they going to yield? Some caps. A baseball glove. A few more caps. And a stim pack. Well, that answers the question, doesn't it? Now we have no endurance wear. Well, we do technically the wrestler outfit, so that's endurance too. We can put that on, level up, and then put the power armor back on again. There we go. That's it. Piper's outfit. Perception 2, endurance 2, agility 2, and luck 2. Yes. Piper's outfit. Nice. Okay, we'll put back on the T45D, and we will return to the vault but a legendary outfit nonetheless. Okay. Plus, of course, the gauze rifle and the double-barreled shotgun and five rare recipes. That's right, five rare recipes. Okay, let's collect everything. There we go. And again, I will be skipping forwards again as we move to the end of today's episode. So let's skip forwards again, and it's for a death claw attack. That's right, the death claws are coming. Quickly send these two up. Don't know if they'll get there in time. Uh, don't know what to do with you, actually. Let's just throw you, leave you walking around. There we go. Good. We've got some initial gunfire into the death claws. That's always handy. 
and we've got Patrick Hart coming in from the wasteland. Of course, he will hide uh, till the incident is over. Let's move them back into the room that they were in. There we go. Now we've got our power squads of death dealing psychopaths in our radio rooms that also have high charisma. Okay, let's put you back into. Oh, we don't have anything. Okay, leather armor it is then. Okay, do we still have three or are we down to two death claws? Nope, we still have three. Okay, and there's that Mr. Handy that exploded in episode 38 that is now episode 39. Okay, kill the Death Claws, please. Come on, guys, you've got fairly decent weaponry. Weaponry? That's not even a word. Weaponry is the correct way to say it. As you can see, that Mr. Handy is very, very close to becoming scrap metal. Okay, one Death Claw is dead. One is hovering. Okay, let's uh, deal out some stim packs. Okay, down they come to the next floor. Uh, more commonly known as the Dining de Laser, because most of the people in our dining area are equipped with laser pistols. This should deal with the final enemies. Okie dokie. Oh, we got someone with a punch. That's uh, not good. Let's go for a scoped pistol. There we go. Oh, and double death. Nice. Okay, let's skip forwards again. So, now we have the two dwellers that we got from the radio room, and Terry Lee is going to become Enderance. So, Enderance, welcome to the vault. Glad to have you with us. And if you would like to also be a member of this vault, drop a comment below and uh, let me know and I will get you added to the vault. Uh, also please of course drop a like and a subscribe if you're loving this series. Uh, I am at over 10,000 subscribers now which I'm extremely happy about uh, but let's keep on going. Okay Patrick, let's leave you as Patrick because I don't have anybody else to add to the vault at the moment. Okay and you can go and get perception as well. And Let's skip forwards one last time as we close out today's episode. Okay, so Donna Lee is exploring the wasteland. She's been out there for 22 hours. She's found a load of items. I mean a load of items, including recipes. And uh, she just found, oh, fresh tracks, animal or worse. 22.54, okay, let's see. She's currently level 32. She's been out there for a long time. Lots of outfits and stuff found. Ah, I hear a child crying. Impossible to tell where it's coming from. Uh, you probably need higher perception. But you currently have Wasteland gear, an enhanced shotgun, and a golden retriever that's giving you plus 10% Wasteland weapons and caps. That's probably why we've managed to find all of the guns. And also you can see everything that's being taken, but you can see this Mylurk is nothing but a crab cake on legs. Time for a snack. And you can see everything else as well that is done to a limit. Uh, you can't actually see everything that's been done over the whole 22 hours. So if you scroll all the way to the top, you will see that it will cut off uh, because so many events happen. So as you can see, all of this is literally within like the last hour. Uh, and we're also near the top. And the white text is normally when you find, find caps. Uh, so all the way up to the top, and we can only go back as far as 2121. So that's it. You can't see the whole log. So I just thought I'd show you that. Uh, but, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is it for the new episode 38. Uh, I do hope you're continuing to enjoy the series and uh, I've beaten up my video editing software for putting the videos in the wrong order. But until next time, of course, all it leaves me to say while the rad roaches are being killed is good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and from me, know-it-all gaming, of course, good night.